What's up, traders? I'm the Inner Circle Hotshot. I am not an educator. My educator is ICT. For free education, check out his YouTube channel, The Inner Circle Trader. With that being said, this channel and video is for entertainment and my own learning purposes only. This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Please trade at your own risk. Now, this is going to be a daily bias checklist. A lot of us traders struggle with daily bias. I've done a lot of research to understand daily bias, watched a lot of videos from ICT, watched a lot of videos from his profitable students, and I kind of put together a checklist. So to get started, what is daily bias? This is the next draw on liquidity where price is more likely to draw to, and this allows us to go in each day and anticipate either an up close or down close candle in alignment with that bias. So to read daily bias, first you want to identify the most previous run on liquidity. This is going to be like an obvious swing high or low. And from that point, you want to recognize what phase daily price is in. Is it retracing, reversing, expanding, which ICT says it's spooling, which is the best phase to actually go in and hunt for what's going to be explained below. Um, but if none of these three, it's deemed consolidation. And until we can recognize a different phase, um, this is going to stay consolidation. But this will allow us to know what kind of candles to anticipate. So if we go in right now, <clears throat> this is a clean chart right here, daily GBP USD. Let's go to Euro USD, actually. Um, let's delete everything here. All those back test annotations. So if we're just looking at this, this was a run on liquidity. This was the most previous one. And then had these swing highs, never got ran. See, these aren't obvious. We want to look for obvious like this, obvious ones. You know, whenever they're just little wikis, those are little minor swing highs. We want to look for the major swings and the obvious ones. So <clears throat> right now, currently, the next draw on liquidity would likely be here. This was the most previous run. It ran back up into, so after it ran out liquidity, what phase did it enter? It entered a retracement phase. What did it retrace into? This internal fair value gap liquidity right here. Retraced into it continued back down you could actually say that this right here was liquidity it had equal lows right here and you can consider this a relative equal low so you could say that these were relative equal lows that price actually ran out here after it ran that out did a minor little retracement right here what did it retrace up into honestly it retraced barely and it kind of retraced up into these two up close candles, which ICT would deem an order block. Sold off from there. Where's the next draw on liquidity? Right here. So right now, bias, the next draw on liquidity. This is your draw on liquidity and your daily bias. So right now, daily bias to me is bearish. Okay. Now, if price is bullish, this is if price is bullish. If price is bearish and the previous day was bearish, you skip the Sunday's candle. Then the next day that we trade, we expect the previous day's low to be taken out and the previous day's high to be supported. In other words, there shouldn't be any movement above the previous day's high. Now, if price does trade above the high, you want to wait for that day's candle to close. And if it closes back below the high with a long doji wick or something that doesn't show any significance of going up, then hold the same bearish bias to trade toward the swing liquidity, which is this liquidity, <clears throat> to trade towards the, the swing liquidity. But if it closed above the previous day's high with a big bullish candle, then bias may be flipping, so go, go neutral. Not every day is going to be a down close candle. So we will hunt intraday with that in mind. And if a buy opportunity arises counter trend to this bias, we can dial back our risk or just not trade it. 
it's probably best to learn to ignore these counter trend setups. But this step lets us know what invalidates our bias and idea. So if we go in after price retraced and then it began expanding right here, once it began expanding, once this swing created right here, this day we would go in and we'd hunt bearish bias, right? And it would be open, Judas swing. You want to look to get short, sell off, target the previous day's low right here. Same thing right here. Open, Judas swing, get short, sell off, target the previous day's low right here. Same thing. Open, Judas swing, manipulation move, get short, sell off, target the previous day's low right here. And we hold this bias until we run out the liquidity here. Now, <clears throat> um, let's see, where did I write it? Very rarely do you see the previous day's high and low both traded through. And if it does, it's usually indecisiveness or it's going to be a reversal soon. And it's clearing the board on both sides of the marketplace. So when you see this, prepare yourself for a potential reversal. So now that we know that this is bearish, we want to continue to hunt bearish intraday. Let's just go and kind of uh, show a little example of it kind of clearing out both sides. Um, right here. <clears throat> so with this candle right here, you can see that we were moving up, moving up, and then this one swept out this day's high and this day's low. What happened? Price traded down for a few days. So once it sweeps out the high and the low, because we just wanted to sweep the high, continue going higher, we want the lows to be supported if it's bullish. And if it's bearish, vice versa. Let's go and show a bearish one. right here so price was moving up bullish right here swept out the high and swept out the low so the low wasn't supported moved up a little bit and then here's another one swept out the high swept out the low but this candle didn't sweep the high this candle also didn't sweep the low this one swept out the high swept out the low reversed went down Same right here with this one. Price was moving down, targeting the lows. Then this one, we want it to be supported. Instead, it swept out the high, swept out the low, price reversed, began moving up. I'm just looking for these right now. Right here. Price was moving up with these two candles. This one, we wanted to target this one. Swept out the high. We wanted the low to be supported. It swept out the low. What happened? Price sold off from there. So that whenever it sweeps both sides, you want to kind of go neutral. You don't want to participate. Um, it's, you know, you want to prepare yourself for a potential reversal potential turnaround so you know like i said price opens um you know judas swing creates the wick then rallies to target the previous day's higher low like we we're showing here opens judas swing this is your manipulation you want to get short rallies targets the previous day's low this is the current bias right now so this was friday monday opens we want to see monday open judas swing create the wick rally target this previous day's low and continue to target here now until this low gets ran we hold this bias now again um where did i write it up uh not every day is going to be a down close candle so we will hunt intraday with that in mind and if a buy opportunity arises counter trend to this bearish bias Again, you can either dial back your risk, like ICT says, or, you know, just don't trade it. Don't create bad habits. It's probably best to ignore those setups. Um, but 
it kind of lets you know what invalidates your bias. So right now it's bearish. If this wick gets ran out, let's say that this wick gets ran out by, um, you know, a candle that closes up like this. Let's say the candle closes like this. This invalidates this bearish idea until price realigns itself. The wicks continue going back down and it continues making these lower high wicks. Then it is invalidated. Price can potentially come back up to, you know, maybe fill in other liquidity, uh, little tiny fair value gaps or something like that. You never know what it can be coming up into. Um, but let's say that price actually, you know, wicks it like this, right? Let's say that price wicks it like that, but it closes way down here. Well, this doesn't really show a lot of, you know, um, how it says right here. Um, where's the word at? Significance. <laughs> I couldn't think of significance. It doesn't show a significance to want to go higher. It wicked it. Yeah, but it closed way down here. This isn't really significant. So we still go in this next day and we want to see where it opened. We want to see it open. Manipulate up, continue down, target here, take out these lows, and potentially come back down and continue to target here. So this is daily bias. This is how you get your daily bias. And the, you want to go in and hunt the 2022 ICT model, or you want to hunt the midnight open London kill zone. You want to hunt for that Judas swing. You want to hunt for that, you know, manipulation to get in, rally off to target these lows and really target, you know, this is your long-term target. And ICT says whether it hits it or not, it's irrelevant, but you want to hold that bias. So this is short and dirty. This is uh the checklist. You know, you can pause it. You can... Do it yourself. You can, um, you know, write it down. Take notes. Of course, this is not financial advice. This is for my own learning purposes. <laughs> Thanks for watching.